MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. Enter in the code Yugi Jesus on MetaMats.com. You will get 10% off of anything. You will also get $5 off of any order on LDBDuel.com using that same code Yugi Jesus. Fun fact, LDBDuel.com, guys, it's the new sponsor of the channel. They make deck boxes, mugs, all kinds of other TCG items customized. You can literally go order a deck box from them and get whatever cards, arts, whatever you want on a deck box from LDBDuel.com. $5 off, once again, Yuki Jesus, $5 off. I've actually been trying to pick up LDB Duel for a long time, or maybe they've been trying to pick me up for a long time. It's been a little bit of both. He makes really good stuff, and like now that I'm doing videos and stuff again, it's it's been great to start this partnership, get this going. Once again, Yuki Jesus gets you discounts on all kinds of websites. Just, just links are down in the description. But now let's get into this video. Let's start by putting up my Cyber Dragon playlist, you know, up in the corner so you guys can see it. Because as many of you who have been watching the channel for a long time know, I am the Cyber Dragon God! No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that full of myself. But I have been playing Cyber Dragons for a very, 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 very long time. Um, all kinds of different builds over the years. You know, they, the, the deck has seen many evolutions and stuff. Uh, many, uh, you know, cybernetic evolutions it has seen many new cybernetic horizons if you would just <laughs> but for years now I have been jokingly asking for three things for cyber dragons from Konami pretty much the entire time I've been playing cyber dragons one of them is a power bond searcher which we've already gotten two of that's an old joke on this channel you know give me the power bond searcher uh, they gave us that a long time ago with Pharos and then they gave it gave it to us again with the cyber dark card so we have two power bond searchers now the other two cards that I always joked about were a DNA surgery, a spell card, a DNA surgery, or you know, or a machine, a zombie world, you know. That's another one I always joked about, but didn't think that they would ever actually make. And now they have, we'll get to that in a second. And the other card that I always joked about, Konami making that I knew that they never would, or I thought that they never would, was a machine duplication searcher. Being able to search machine duplication and cyber dragons, getting two cyber dragons from deck off a of core. It's great, it's great. It's probably the best, it, it, it actually probably is the best combo in the deck besides, you know, the whole Nova and Infinity shenanigans the Cyber Dragons do, or the Chimera Tech stuff that dra Cyber Dragons do, which is where that Clockwork Knight card comes in handy. So, Cyber Dragons have been able to make Chimera Tech for pretty much their entire existence. I know, shocker, shocker. But the old strategy was to use DNA surgery to turn everything into machine to be able to contact views into Chimera Tech. And actually that is a thing in Edison format. That's something I've been messing around with more, more recently in Edison format. That is a thing in Edison format using the old DNA surgery Chimera Tech combo. That is a thing and that's cool that people are starting to play that. And uh, yeah, I've been starting to play that. I, I, I'm probably gonna make a video on that. It's a fun format. And yes, uh, Cyber Dragons are a deck in that format. Uh, Counter Fairy is actually also a deck in that format. Lots of other cool decks in Edison format. But that was the strategy to get Chimera Tech out with a lot of attack was to turn everything to machine with DNA surgery but you know in more recent years that DNA surgery it's a, it's a trap card it's slow you know it's very very slow we are in you know turn one Yu-Gi-Oh! and we've been in turn one Yu-Gi-Oh! for how long now? Turn you know two turn Yu-Gi-Oh! Whatever you want to call it, go first Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know. Just it's 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 super fast. It's not like in the old days where I have my turn, you have your turn, and we go back and forth for like 15 turns. You, you play Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't have to tell you this stuff. Matches are over or, or are pretty much decided within you know two or three turns. But um, because of that, DNA surgery, like I was getting at, has this long fallen off. No one's played DNA surgery in like a really, really, really long time. Clockwork Knight, though. Woo! Man, I, I really love this card. I can't wait for it to come out. It is exactly, like, like once again, the play, look, go to the Cyber Dragon playlist. I have talked about this stuff for years and years and years. All face-up monsters on the field become machine monsters. All machine monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. Also, machine monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack and defense. You can banish this card from your graveyard. So it's even got a graveyard effect. That is nutty. Banish this card from your graveyard and discard one card. Add one Earth Machine Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the like, well, ones per turn, blah, 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 blah. So, this helps Machina, it helps Trains, you know, like any, any, like, like, like Ancient Gears, any, like Cyber Dragons, any machine deck, but any Earth Machine deck as well. This card is fantastic support for a lot of different decks, a lot. But mainly, my baby Cyber Dragons being able to turn your whole board into a 5,000 attack Chimera Tech for me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. And I'm also not sorry to be able to search machine duplication. What is this? I joked about this for years. Literally, look at the playlist. I've joked about this for so long and they actually do it. But I mean, this isn't just a machine dupe searcher. This is a searcher for a lot of spells. But let's get into this next card, Triple Tactics. The name is Triple Tactic Tasking. Don't say that 10 times fast, you'll give yourself a seizure. <laughs> but if your opponent has activated a monster effect this turn, set one normal spell or trap directly from your deck, except another copy of itself. Or if your opponent controls a monster, you can add that card to your hand instead. You can only activate one per turn. So in other words, this search is machine duplication. <laughs> This search is so many good spells, so many. Since the Yu-Gi-Oh! metagame has been super fast paced for so long, cards like this need to come out, you know? Dark Ruler No More, other cards that can't be negated, that turn off everything. Those cards have to come out, and I've talked about this on the channel before too. You can't have all of these broken extra deck monsters, main deck monsters, whatever, that say negate this, negate that, or you know, different floodgates that shut off everything. You can't have all of these broken cards without some way to, to counterbalance it. Otherwise, whoever goes first wins. And we have go first win formats, and that's no fun, nobody likes those. Uh, I mean, except for people that don't like to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but pretend that they like to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> well, I mean, but they are still playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so they obviously like to play Yu-Gi-Oh. But go first stall decks, go first floodgate decks, you know what, I like them too, I'm not even gonna be. <laughs> I like to cheese wins too, but it's just not practical. You have to actually have an interactive game, right? So, and like I was saying, Yu-Gi-Oh! has gotten so quick, so fast, you know, every card in your hand matters, and you need everything to be live right then and there. You need everything to be as potent as possible, to be able to uh, search cards from your deck, summon from deck, uh, turn off opponent stuff, out stuff, etc, um, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Um, that's where this card comes in handy. Uh, being able to search um, uh, a needed card from your deck going second when your opponent has a monster, that's very good. That is very, very, very good. And this card actually works hand in hand with Clockwork Knight because you can summon Cyber Dragon Core. <laughs> you already see where I'm going with them. Like, you, you search Machine Doom, so you, like, I can't, I'm, I'm so giddy. You literally get to Chimera Tech and Machine Duplication, search Machine Duplication in the same turn with these cards. It is, it's, it's so busted. And our Cyber Dragon's gonna be like, Tier Zero, the ultimate deck! Uh, you know, probably not still. But are they gonna be even better at going second than they already are? They're already insane at going second, just from the Chimera Tech plays alone. Not to mention Jizakiru and stuff. Not to mention playing Dark Roller No More and all these other staple cards. Cyber Dragons are debatably the best going second deck of all time. Love the deck, love the deck. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, classic, classic, you know, and in more recent years we have Chimera Tech Mega Fleets. Just a modern classic. Out anything, out anything, big machine monster, go vroom, love it. So to wrap these two cards up, once again, Clockwork Knight, fantastic machine support. Awesome machine support for Cyber Dragons. Awesome machine supports for all Earth Machine decks. Literally all Earth Machine decks. Infinitrac, I don't know, like it, it says Earth Machine. It's a generic card, but it's not like a super generic card. It's a generic card for machines, but it's not a generic card in general. Now, Triple Tactics, tri Triple, t tri like I said, you, you will have a seizure trying to say this. Triple Tactic Tasking, now that is a generic card. It just says set one normal spell or trap directly from your deck. Or if your opponent controls a monster, you add it to your hand instead. It is just, it's just about as generic as you can get. <laughs> and once again, with Yu-Gi-Oh! being as fast paced as it has been and, you know, continues to be, you have to have these cards. Gotta have them, gotta have them, they're way too good. Now, this next card you don't necessarily have to have. <laughs> That's why I saved this one for last. This card just came out. This one's called Spellbound. This one says all face up monsters your opponent currently controls. Currently! Keyword there, currently controls cannot be tributed or used as material for a fusion, synchro, Xyz, or link summon until the end of this turn. It seems like it's gonna be really good, it's a quick play, it shuts down stuff, shuts down plays, shuts down link summoning, everything, except that, that, little, that little hang up there. Opponent currently controls. So you gotta wait for them to, like they're about to do something, then you deactivate this. So you already have to have this set. And it doesn't say you can activate this card from your hand if you control no cards, like a hand trap. It doesn't say that. <sighs> Spellbound is an interesting card. It has potential only because it's a quick play. <laughs> and it, it, it just, 
I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, it, 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 it stops stuff, but it, it doesn't. I want it to be better, and I actually thought, like, when I first read this card, I read it way better in my head than it actually was. I think you guys get what I'm saying. Since it says currently controls, and since it's a quick play, and since it's a quick play that says, that's not a hand trap that says you can activate this one, you control no monsters or no cards. It's just okay. It's not nearly as good as it could be. It's not nearly as good as the Triple Tactics card. It's not nearly as good as Clockwork Knight. So I wanted to talk about it last. <laughs> I wanted to talk about these cards because these are three spell cards, uh, spell cards that have come out or are coming out that really caught my attention. The first two for very obvious Cyber Dragon reasons, you know. Um, uh, just, I feel like this will be, you know, another evolution burst for a Cyber Dragon. I think it's, I think this might spark another cybernetic revolution. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll stop now. <laughs> I'll stop. Once again, guys, Yuki Jesus on uh, metamats.com, on ldbduel.com, and also, you guys that mail me, mail me more. Like, I haven't been getting stuff in the mail. Mail me more. P.O. Box is still open. Also, down in the description. Gotta shake off the rust and play these new spell cards, man. Cyber Dragon's gonna be so good! Ugh! Go second, Cyber Dragons. Eat shit, dude. I don't even know what my ratios are gonna be. I don't even know what my like with the, with the new Clockwork Night card. I, I have no idea. Like, like, do I still play Dark Ruler no more? Do I play Dark Ruler just a like hero and Clockwork Knight? Because you already have Cyber Dragon. Like, the come here. You already have Mega Fleet out stuff like on its own. So like, I don't. I really. I, I have been like loosely pondering these ratios in my head, but I'm. It's. I, I'm gonna wait until the damn card comes out to actually tackle it because. At this moment in time, I have no idea. It is all excitement and not knowing what ratios to play because we just aren't there yet. Now's the part though where I do the same thing that everybody else does and like does the cop out like, oh, let me know what you think down in the comment section though. Comment if you want to. I'm out. Have a nice everything. Beans, 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 be